this guy's is gaming half hour. Today we think crimes and punishment, Sherlock Holmes. Now, I've done the first case, the fate of Black Peter. Uh, so we're going to start the riddle on the rails. Um, yeah. Don't know what it's going to be about. I'm assuming trains. Because I'm that good at detective work. Okay, let's start this. Do you really want to replay this case? All the progress you have earned in the case will be reset. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't actually tried yet. Let me complete an observation of the in the brief summary. Okay, so let's go. This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. Hmm. As your friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, bird watching, chopping wood. Sounds intolerable. I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. But you haven't yet told me who your friend is, the one we're going to visit. He is a bee lover. A bee lover? Do you mean that he keeps bees? That sounds dodgy. That must be Mrs. Hudson, bringing the warm cloth that I requested. There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. I have no time. Send whoever it is away. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. That is some heavy steps. That's awesome, Wellie. Mycroft. Oh. Sherlock. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. We're about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. There are people who presently threaten both our country and the crown itself. You must help us with those methods of yours. That is a really bad Need? Haircut. Help? Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can assure you. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry Men. A band of idealistic terrorists. Sherlock, do please think about it. They are planning something diabolical. Your country needs diabolical. you. You need me, Mycroft, and you are not the country. Although if your waistline expands very much further... Mrs. Hudson, tea will Mycroft not be necessary. Weight Dr. Watson, this the show. train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Sherlock, enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do please at oh, least write to me on your return. Oh dear. Okay. Holmes, please call a cab while I pack my suitcase. We should be late for the train. Ooh. I don't know the way out of my own bloody house. Watson, I'll hold a cab for us. We leave in five minutes for the station. One week later. Oh, so we don't go to Staffordshire then. I suppose that's a small mercy. Oh, 
What a gloomy night. It was warmer inside the waiting hall. Since the station master told us that the train is about to arrive, we should not have to wait very much longer. Yes, at last. Attention! The train is arriving at the station. Please wow. stand well away from the platform Fucking edge. I'll take your bags and your blasted archive suitcase. As if the oh. train but horn noise. Holmes, Ooh. the headlight. It's faded away. Something is wrong. My I can't God. hear any sound from the incoming train. Excuse me, sir. Can you explain what has happened? I, I don't know. It, it's as if the train vanished into thin air. Holmes, say something. Quick, fetch a lantern and let us take a look. It's too dark. Only fog and rails, nothing else. Uh, there is no use in stumbling around here at night. We will come back tomorrow. Well, here we are again at Evesham Station. We have a full day ahead. Let us begin our investigation. Tell me. Where's the train coming from? This direction. It was this way, wasn't it? Into London. This is the place where we saw the train vanish last night. Railway sleepers. Nothing unusual. A discarded item, possibly thrown from the train. There are no tracks or footprints on the ground. The rails have not been touched. There's nothing unusual here. There are no signs to indicate that the train ran off the track, nor are there any other traces. There is nothing whatsoever. There are no clues. But then, a negative result is also a result. Okay. Oh, I see what you're getting at. No clues and you're smiling. Yes, Watson, I do smile on occasion. This mystery appears very promising. 
This investigation won't be simple. We shall require a map of the region. Perhaps the station master could lend us one. much walking Good morning. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Yes, I remember you. I'm Station Master Everett. You were here last night. So, you are Mr. Holmes, the great detective. Will you be investigating what happened? I shall indeed. It is extraordinary that an entire train could disappear <laughs> like that. And to think of all the poor people inside it, the passengers, the driver. Could you please give us any details about the train? Well, there was nothing so very special about it. At least not that I can recall. My memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> However, if you need it, you can have the train composition report. It's inside my office. I would be glad to have a detailed map of the local railway district. But of course, please. Take the one that's pinned inside the waiting hall. See you later, my good man. What's in there? He's in six seasons. He's been married for a long time. Fresh spot of earth for his steed reveals passion for gardening. Badge of honor. Station master reveals that he is a long standing employee. All of this demonstrates his desire to live a quiet and stable life. Some people crave adventure and excitement. We mail them. And then you mail them. What's there? Oh. Railway post bags. Okay. Just saying what you see now. Maybe there's no one else here. This map will be useful. Most people just give it to you. Alright, Watson, got our map. Not sure what we need to do now. The entire train has disappeared. It's a disaster. All right, so. Oh, no, I haven't got that yet. 
Spanish train, no traces. Without the information to go on, just to leave. I'll call you when it's ready. Right. Um, what's Holmes, it? how is it even possible for a train to disappear? Why can't Holmes run? Slow ass bastard. I could walk all the way up here. One place to go. I wish something's still here. So, that's told me absolutely nothing. A bit more of a look around. Ticket office. A telegraph. Station. Mr. Robinson is located at Bridlewood Station. A new telegram. I think we should meet this, Mr. Robinson. I think you got a point, home. North London, uh, Nottingham to London, type train liner. Here is the train set. Okay, let's go speak to this dude and his bitch water. He's new at this station. According to the train composition report, there was a special wagon. What does that entail? That's a highly secure car, ordered by a private party. Uh, it is generally to carry something of value. Those wagons have iron walls, you know, without any windows, and they're fitted with a complex key lock. That is important information. Do you know what was inside this particular wagon? Certainly not. No, that's private. And it's not my responsibility to allot the wagons to whoever. Hmm. Was there hmm. anything exceptional hmm. about any of the passengers aboard the train? What do you mean? Like officials? Oh, I wouldn't know. Oh, oh, but now that you mention it, yes, there was something. There was a message from Bridlington Station saying that the train had been delayed because of an issue with the passengers. But what kind of How problem that they didn't say? That is interesting. You mentioned a problem at Bridlington Station. I should like to visit this station. Could you mark it on the local map? 
Of course. It's a suburban railway station. You might take a cab there. See you later, my good man. Yeah, very obsessed with his bike. Alright, so. Station. The plot does thicken. Alright. Railway map, train composition, delayed. Something on that seems important. Someone's nicked it, I reckon. So, what we need to do solve the mystery of the vanished train, find a special carrying passengers that were present at the night train. Let's go. Notice board. This is an absolute scandal. It's always the same with these rail companies. No respect for the customer. I like the jacket. What's that cheap ticket work class man. Married. Rough skin. Ooh. Please calm down, sir. What is your concern? Concern? What is my concern? I'll tell you what my concern is. Last night, I were on the train, as usual, with my colleague, heading home. Then along came this ridiculous ticket inspector, who started arguing that our tickets were invalid. He made us get off the train, and he was extremely rude about it. Interesting. Were you aboard the train that vanished last night? Yes. I heard that it disappeared, but I don't care because we would have stopped before then anyway. Our tickets were valid, and no doubt about it. And then, to top it all, the ticket inspector pushed everyone else out too, except for a bunch of rich. Well, of course, their type don't need a ticket. Oh, he's uh, got, a, got a chip on his shoulder. Can you recall anything more specific about this fortunate group? Well, yes. They were all foreigners. Spanish-looking toffs with snake eyes. Goodbye, sir. Interesting. Who are you? Mr. Robinson. <laughs> Good day to you, sir. Good day. Oh. To whom am I speaking? That's My name is room. Sherlock Holmes, and this is... Are you a representative of this damned railway company? Because I have a complaint. We are not from the railway company. We are... Well, in that case, Mr. Shamrock Flomes, please excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for idle chit-chat at the moment. You must be Mr. Robinson, is that correct? Yes. 
I am leading the investigation of the disappearing train. It would help if you could answer my questions. Ah, well, all right. I have nothing to hide. I presume it was you who placed the order for the special wagon. Yes. It was to transport my valuable prototype safely to London. My prototype is a revolutionary device. It is capable of producing electricity. I'm a businessman and an engineer. I had already found several potential customers for my invention. But I was very optimistic about the director's board who were traveling on the train last night. Mr. Robinson, could you please clarify? Were you traveling alongside your prototype? Yes, I was. But I had to step off the train. And all because of this stupid station master. I received the telegram declaring that an important person, a Mr. Bromsby, wished to see you in the waiting room. I, I merely informed you of this. Mr. Bromsby is a wealthy gentleman. His interest in my invention was truly unexpected. So, yes, of course, I agreed Smell to see subdivision him. There. Unfortunately, he wasn't there. I thought perhaps he might have been Stolen. delayed. So I chose to wait a while. But despite my requests, the train left the station without me. Absolutely unacceptable. The timetable is strict. We cannot wait any longer. The regulations require the train to be on time. You are an idiot. You will pay for it. I will sue you. Hmm. This revolutionary machine of yours, was it very valuable? For God's sake, sir. It is priceless. It could change the world we live in. And yet, I was selling it for almost nothing. I am a humanitarian, you see. I you were a business. I do not know if I will ever be able to get over this disaster. I cannot believe that it disappeared with that damn train. You mentioned a director's board. Which company do they own? The Chilean Barcazas Company. I had made an appointment with them. Now they are lost, along with the train and my prototype. What do you know about the Barcazas Company? It's a large South American company. They showed a great deal of interest in my prototype, and they seemed wealthy enough to do business with. The ticket inspector forced all the passengers from the train, except for the directors of the Barcazas Chilean Company. Okay, this is difficult. This train is beautiful. Special wagon. Chilean people. Accident. Chilean saying the train was just a coincidence. The train conductor overlooked him. The director of Chilean Barzacuzule company was initially left on the train. The controller removed all passengers from the train except the Chilean. Interesting. I haven't got anywhere though. It's a theft, obviously. So who stole it? Chicken inspect. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I am investigating the unfortunate disappearance of last night's train. I see. Uh, I'm Station Master Bertram, but my supervisor has not informed me about this. I do not know if... Uh, do not worry. I have only a few questions. Station Master Everett from Evesham told us that you reported a problem with some passengers last night. Indeed. This train is a regular line for those who work at Nottingham. But yesterday, everyone was asked to get off the train here at my station. I've no idea why, and it delayed the train. But the worst of it is that now I have to deal with two furious passengers who are complaining about the company's service. They stayed here the whole night, but people do not usually pay much attention to the regulations, you see. There are very strict and clear rules. Paragraph 234 of Article 2G-43 states that in the event of a complaint, you must... Yes, yes, thank you. I understand. Okay. Young. Clean. No 
nicely kept, man. Job's worth. Ink smudges. Ink smudges? Apart from the passengers disembarking, did you notice anything else that was unusual last Good night? I did. And I mentioned it in my report to our higher management on the matter. What was it? Sorry, but I can't tell you. The station master's reports are confidential. Confidential, you say? How long have you been working here? I have worked here long enough to be uh, quite capable of managing a railway station. Let me speak frankly, Mr. Bertram. Your age and your lack of confidence in your position are quite apparent. You cannot deny that you have only recently completed your studies. I was at the top of my class. Listen here, young man. I am aware that you wish to protect yourself behind all these regulations, but I represent the law. And you are obstructing the investigation of an important case. I would suggest that you cooperate with Mr. Holmes. Think of your career. Think of ah, your future, man. That is... Well, I'll tell you everything. First of all, I scolded the ticket inspector, for it was he who asked the passengers to leave the train. It was not his right to do so. He was very rude. Hmm. And then, later on, I received a most peculiar telegram from my colleague at Chesterfield Station, the next stop along the line. What did the telegram say? Well, that was the peculiar thing. It was almost unreadable. It was full of errors and awfully vague. It was hard to understand if the train had correctly passed that station or not. You can read it for yourself. We ought to visit Chesterfield Station. We need to confirm if the station master saw the train or not. All right, let's have a look at this telegram. Nice desk. A telegraph. policy for Robinson's machine. A significant sum. Hmm. Insurance? Interesting. Insurance job. Where's that telegram anyway? I'll find that bloody telegram now. Railway post bags. See if we can go in here. No. All right, let's find this. What's it called? It's a telegraph. Insurance. According to this document, you have insurance for your prototype. Oh, thank God. Where did you find it? Near the telegraph station. I must have lost it when I tried to send a message, which I was prevented from doing. I apologize for that, but regulations state that public access to the telegraph is strictly prohibited. Upon my word, you keep on digging that hole of yours. You have no idea who I am. I see that you kept your grip sack with you. Why don't you leave it in the luggage room? I've had other things to think about. I lost my prototype. And this idiot station master just stands here doing nothing to help. Oh, but... Well, that won't do at all. 
Station Master, I believe that the regulations state that any passenger luggage should be taken to the luggage room. I'll do it right away, sir. Sorry, sir. Yeah, job's worth. This Robinson is quite a character. We should learn more about him. Yes. A telegraph. Don't touch anything, please. Go check the luggage. This grip sack belongs to Mr. Robinson. I think we should open it, Holmes. This is what they call force majeure. I'll keep watch. Of course. Ah, oh, I hate these things. As you can see, lost patients already. Look, Watson, a bundle of contracts. Very suspicious. We should study them carefully. Okay. An exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yet another exclusive. Mr. Robinson is the seller. How many contracts have we got? Here? Yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Jesus, well, it is very clear got? that this Mr. Robinson received prepayments from various people for his machine.